Hi, so let us solve the problem of weekly contest 239 and the problem name is minimum adjacent swaps to reach the kth smallest number. So before moving to the video of this problem, I would suggest you to please pause the video once and try this problem on your own. So now I hope all of you have tried this problem on your own. Now let us try to solve this problem together. So in this problem, you are given a string number and an integer k. Now it is given that you call any integer as the wonderful integer if the permutation of that number's digit is greater than the original number itself. So in this problem, what you want to do is you want to reach the kth smallest wonderful integer and you want to find the minimum number of adjacent digit swaps that needs to be applied to reach this kth smallest wonderful integer. So now to solve this problem, this problem reduces to two parts. The first part would be to find the kth smallest wonderful integer. And the second part would be to find the minimum number of adjacent digit swaps to reach this kth smallest wonderful integer. So let us try to solve this first part first. That is how to reach this kth smallest wonderful integer. So the first point we have discussed that a wonderful integer is a num is an integer whose permutations is greater than the original number. Now, if we want to reach the kth smallest wonderful integer, that means those wonderful integers should be in increasing order, right? So if you are given with this digit, now we want to find its next permutation such that it will be great, just greater than this. So this problem reduces to the point that we want to find the next permutation having the value just greater than the original number. Now let us come to the point, how can we do this? Let us try to understand this with the help of an example. So let us say you are given with this digit. Now, if we want to find its next permutation, then we should always think of the number having the lowest place value first. Why? Okay, let us say, what if we make the number like this? Is it just the next permutation? No, because we haven't thought of the lowest place value. So we can always think of the lowest place value if we move from the last digit like this. Okay, so let us start from the three. What if we replace, what if we permute this three and four? Let us try to do so. So is this a wonderful number? No, it's not a wonderful number because this value is smaller than the original number. Okay, then let us try to swap this three and five. We will get one, three, four and five. So now is this a wonderful number? No, not again because this is smaller than the original number. Okay, so now let us try to swap this three and one. Now, if we swap this three and one, now can you tell me, is this a wonderful number? Yes, now it is a wonderful number because this number is greater than the original number. Why? Why is it a wonderful number? Why not these two? Okay, so to do so, what we should do, we should try moving towards the left until we keep on finding the numbers in increasing order. So we have this four. So this four is greater than three, increasing order. We have this five, this five is greater than four, increasing order. Now we have this one. This one is not greater than this five. That is, we found a number which is in non-increasing order. So at this point of time, we can just have a swap with the lowest place value. And we found this number. So now is this just the next permutation? No. So to find just the next permutation, just reverse the last three digits. So we will reverse the last three digits and we will get this. So this will be a just next permutation of the original number. 
So to find the just next permutation, what you have to do, you have to start with the lowest place value. That is, you have to start moving from the leftmost point. After moving from the left leftmost point, you want to find a number which is in non-decreasing order. So after finding a number which is in non-decreasing order, you will swap those two digits. You'll swap these two digits. After swapping these two digits, you will reverse the number which is there in increasing order. That is, you'll reverse the last three digits of it. And this number is just the next permutation of the original number. In a similar manner, you'll do this process k times. Why k times? Because in the given question, you are given that you have to find the kth smallest wonderful number. So this means we have solved a first part of finding the kth smallest wonderful number. Now the second part is to find the minimum number of adjacent digit swaps to find this kth smallest wonderful number. So let us try to observe with the help of given example only. Let us try to observe this second part with this example only. So the example given to us is 5, 4, 8, 9, 3, 5, 5, 1, 4, 2. And if we find its kth smallest wonderful number, it will be 5, 4, 8, 9, 3, 5, 5, 4, 2, 1. Now, if you want to find the minimum number of swaps, then you should move in a greedy manner. First of all, we want to find the digit which is different from the original number. These two are same. These two are same. These are same. If we keep on moving, then we'll find that these two are the digits which are different in both of the numbers. So let's say that we are at i in the first and we are at j in the second. We should move parallelly in both of the numbers. Okay, so now if these, this is i and this is j, they both are different. We want to achieve that this one should come at this jth position. So for that, we will keep on increasing this j until we reach this, the number which is equal to this ith position. So this means we will keep on increasing j and we'll bring a j over here. After bringing j over here, then keep on doing the adjacent swaps until you make your one at the equal position as that of i. That is until you bring your one over here. We'll keep on doing this process until both of the numbers becomes equal. So now we have solved the second part as well. So I hope you got the point that this question basically consists of two parts. The first one is finding the k smallest wonderful integer that we can easily break the problem into finding the next permutation. And the second part of the problem is to find out the minimum number of adjacent swaps, which you can easily do by taking two pointers i and j. First of all, you want to find the digits which are unequal in both of the integers. After doing so, you'll keep on increasing the second pointer until you find the original digit in the second number. And then you'll keep on doing the adjacent swaps to make both of the numbers in equal. So now I hope you could write the code of this problem on your own. Thank you.